Guess what? It's April, and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late, and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hey Sagittarius, welcome to April. So I'm putting your uh, power crystal of the month and your lucky days in the email that I'll send out. So if you're not on my list, well you should be because that's how you win a 20 minute video reading if you're selected. And also I only send out one email a month. So it's not like when you watch a webinar and there's like, you know, 75 million emails coming at you every day uh, forever. So, Let's get started. Um, so your social and emotional well-being for this month, they're like, you already know what's going on with that. You already know what your struggles are. You already know which mountains you have to climb and all of that stuff. And you have the strength to do it. It's like all of a sudden your perception has changed on like what relationships mean to you and what is healthy for you and all of that stuff, but in a really good way. And so they're like some relationships... Um, and situations are going to be coming to an end for you, but that's good because all it's doing is creating new positive opportunities for you moving forward. And I think Leo's also had something very similar. So they're like, you should feel really confident about that. You're really embracing this fire energy, which is like very go get them, independent, fun and exciting. So good for you. Um, as far as your career goes, they're saying, you know, make sure that you're not overgiving. Like, so in a, a lot of times, like especially for salaried workers, we might be putting in like 70 hours worth of energy and time for our boss, but we're still only getting paid for the 40 hours. And they're like, this is something that definitely needs to stop or end. And you should very much feel confident in being like, look, you want to throw one more thing on my plate? Guess what? You're going to take away two things. This is too stressful and I'm working way too much and I just can't handle that. And so even if you own your own business, this is the kind of thing where you're like, okay, before I take anything more on, I need to outsource something. I need to hire an employee or I need to stop doing these certain things that aren't really giving me that much value or profit. Or let's say, for example, that um, maybe you own your own business, um, not to bring it back to like webinars, but like, okay, maybe you have one and you're trying to sell your business coaching, right? So you're giving away all of these free tips, all of these free tools, all of these templates, all of these whatever, but maybe you're giving away too much for free and it doesn't give your clients much incentive to really buy your product because you're giving too much away. And so they're saying, like, don't go around and, like, tell people that you're not going to do this shit anymore, like, electronically. This has to be, like, a face-to-face -face discussion, and it's something very internal but that you know you need to do. And then what they're saying is, like, because if you make a big deal about this, um, like, in your written communication, like, like, electronic communication, so that could also not be written. It could be, like, in your YouTube videos. It could be in... Um, you know, uh, your Facebook post, something like that, If that will bite you in the ass. And it's not going to help you get the success that you want. It's not going to help you generate more income. Basically, what they're saying is focus on what makes you really happy and joyful and try to cut out the rest of the shit that doesn't for you. Because when you focus on your love, all these blessings, all of these gifts really come to you. So maybe you do hate your job because you work so much. Focus on the parts that you really love and, you know, tell your employer, like, look, in order for me to do an awesome job, I need to not be so burdened with all this other bullshit that I don't particularly enjoy. Um, and they'll get that because they'll see that the quality of your work increases. It's better for them to have you doing less work but higher quality with less mistakes as opposed to doing a ton of things like half-assed. Okay. As far as your love life goes, we're going to look at singles first, then couples, and then for those of you who are in um, non-defined relationships, so on again, off again, not Facebook official because it's new, or uh, maybe it's polyamorous, okay? So they're saying for singles, there are uh, there's a need for you to um, start conversations, to initiate conversation. This will work out to your benefit. So maybe you've got a crush on somebody, but you never talk to them. It's actually going to pay off for you if you walk up to them and start a conversation. Now, they're saying some of you are like kind of afraid. You're a little bit defensive. Like, what if this goes wrong? Well, you're actually manifesting like a shitty fucking outcome for yourself if that's the attitude that they have. So they're like, let go of that. Let go of that. Because a lot of the fears that we have about things like that are um, actually not valid. 
Like, they feel real, but, like, the actual outcome isn't, in your case, at least this month in April, not what's going to play out. Most of our fears don't come true, 90% of them. So, I mean, how many times have you been afraid, you know, when you get in your car that maybe you're going to get into an accident, so you put on your seatbelt, but most of the time, that doesn't happen. Maybe it happens occasionally, but you've driven a lot, you know, or even if you don't drive. You get where I'm going with this, okay? So... What they're saying is maybe you have a friend and this is going and you want to take that to the next level, but you're afraid that it's going to ruin the friendship if you bring it up. In this case and this month, it's uh, not likely that that's going to be the outcome for you. Now, your specific situation, I could tell you better in a personal reading, but for the majority of Sagittarians, that's the case. Um, there are things you need to be verbally expressing. Uh, how you feel about somebody, what you want from them, being very upfront. And so for some of you, this is about, um, you know, even moving on from, so you're single, you know, but maybe you're dating somebody casually and you're like, mm, I really like you. You seem like a great person, but you're just not the right person for me and I can't put my finger on why and you should have that conversation. Now it sucks to have to do that. And you're trying to do it in the most loving way possible, but it's the most loving thing that you can do for yourself instead of feeling stressed out about how you're going to do this and how much time it's taking for you to move on from that because it's um, sort of blocking new opportunities for love to come into your life. Now, for those of you who are coupled, they're saying um, some of you are maybe going to be solidifying things. Um, now, this is going to play out a couple different ways. So if you've been in this relationship for the long time, this is like an indicator saying that this is the relationship that you will forever stay in, like that you are partners for life. Um, but for others of you, it's like, okay, we're going to take things to the next level. Um, I am going to name you as the beneficiary in case of my death on my life insurance. Or I am going to uh, buy a house with you. Or, uh, you know, whatever. It's that kind of an energy. What else for couples? They're saying... Um, You've been kind of delicately protecting your heart for a while, but now it just seems right to make things solid. Maybe this is about getting married. Maybe this is about thinking about having kids or adopting a puppy. And so they're saying, just go ahead and do it. Feel excited about it um, because this is the right thing for you. This is the right thing for your heart that you were trying to protect before. And so maybe you emotionally felt kind of imbalanced about it before, and you still might a little bit, but it's time to throw caution to the wind and just be excited about the future and what it is that you desire. Now, for those of you in non-defined relationships they're saying okay so some of you are experiencing some pain in that now maybe that situation is like you're dating somebody who is currently married to somebody else or something like that but they say this pain is temporary it's not forever and they're saying you know as soon as you cog as soon as you're cognizantly aware of that as soon as you rationalize that and remind yourself of that that no pain like, I mean, there might be like a subtle dull ache forever, right? But it's not like going to acutely feel as sharp forever. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's just a little hiccup. They're saying what this really is is an opportunity for you in one area or another in your day-to-day -day life to make a change for your own benefit. So let's say that you've been fucking around on again, off again in a relationship, okay? Now, you might all of a sudden go, you know what? Like, if we've tried so many times to make this work and it's just not working, this is a good opportunity for me just to, like, move on. For me to, you know what, I always wanted to live somewhere warmer. Fuck it, I'm going to Florida. Out of sight, out of mind, I will be less tempted to try to make a relationship work that doesn't actually work anymore. And so it creates like a new opportunity in your life, okay? Now, it's not going to resonate for everybody because this is a general reading. I can give you a lot more precision in a private reading. But that's kind of the vibe for those in undefined relationships. If they don't work out, it's an opportunity. Frame it that way. They're saying, though, for some of you, there are um, really good loving offers coming your way, but you're not seeing it. You're not noticing it. You're kind of closing your eyes. So there might be people around you who are trying to give you some love, some support, some care, and you're just like, mm -hmm. 
you don't even notice. Somebody's flirting with you across the room, they're trying to stare deep into your eyes and you're looking at your cell phone. So you might want to kind of open your eyes to what's around you and to other people's intentions. It doesn't mean that you have to give anything to them, but just be aware of it because it helps you remind yourself that you're deserving of love and affection. Now I'm going to give you an affirmation for all Leos in April. And it says, everyone I encounter at work today has my best interests in heart, at heart. It doesn't always feel that way, right? But when we go back to when I was talking about career and having those frank conversations with people. This is something we need to remind ourselves of because you might not want to have that conversation with your boss. You'd be like, oh, they don't care. They just want to get, you know, like all of these check marks crossed off their list. But they understand that they would have to replace you if you completely burned out and just said, fuck it. You like that meme, you know, where it's like, fuck it. I quit. And then they're like, just kidding. I need these. And they're picking them up. <laughs> like they know that's an actual possibility for you. And so, you know, remembering this, everyone I encounter today, it's a good affirmation, has my best interests at heart. Okay. So I love you and that's April and I will see you in May. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!